Hey what's going on guys, come back again the year now after completing this online K1 emulator in JavaScript I want to build the same thing but uh, an Arduino based one basically and hence uh, the target programming language the emulator is going to be written in is going to be C and uh, I'm reusing the fake 6502.c uh, which is the 6502 processor emulator by Mike Chambers written in 2011 this exact piece of code was used in Kimono by Oscar Vermeulen but here is the major difference so mm, the way how it's implemented so it has the function pointer tables so if we go to the address table here and here it is uh, here's how it's implemented right, right over in here but the problem is that if we put this data structures d directly into the prog mem uh, of the Arduino in order to wait waste in the random access memory in that case when we reference this back using the uh, macro PGM uh, read, uh, read uh, word near and uh, the variable name in that case uh, it doesn't work uh, it doesn't work that smoothly let's say so eventually what i've done here uh i've reworked the implementation well I actually i did exactly the same thing but uh it's it has a slightly bit different syntax that now actually fits the avr compiler that is available for uh, within the arduino ide so first let's have a look how this work how this looks at so first uh, i've been testing this within the c uh, I've downloaded the C file and uh, I've compiled this so, and I just uh, altered the syntax so from now on what we have here uh, we actually have the variable and uh, this is the type of uh, unsigned uh, integer pointer type and it points to the address of uh, all the instructions uh, or all the addressing modes we're interested in and all the opcodes uh, we're interested in as well and then uh, we actually in order to uh, call this uh, by uh, in order to call the certain function by indexing this either address table or, up, or upcode table by a current given upcode uh, this is how we can do that so if I go to step uh, step 6502 so I'm just creating this function pointer variable here and then I'm referencing the actual uh, the actual array and uh, making this uh, equal to the type of void pointer and that's how it works and uh, the definition within, uh, within the Arduino code is a little bit different so here uh, um, in order to get the actual uh, the actual value I'm using this pgm read word near and then the address table plus the offset uh, whatever upcode is equal to and if we have a look at the address table here in the Arduino code it's exactly the same thing here but it's stored in the progman which is absolutely essential and also the up the upcode table is stored to the progman as well and now uh, again like if I want to run this uh, so first um, uh, assign, uh, I'm creating two function pointers and I'm getting the proper value from the table from the address table and from from now on this guy is the function that we can call in order to handle the address table uh, indexed by the opcode and here the same but it want to handle the opcode uh, uh, opcode uh, up table uh, indexed by, by the opcode and here I uh, actually run this too and I do it exactly the same as here so step 6502 so here so like the syntax was a little bit different so we were call calling the function directly here uh, and here uh, uh, we we were calling the function pointers directly so like uh, uh, just by reference in those variables and here just to fit the syntax to, to Arduino I made this a little bit different so first we to create this uh, weight pointer weight function pointer and then we call this weight function pointer and then surprisingly works and I spent really about I, I don't know probably uh, up to 10 hours today to to make it work to debug everything and this is the second attempt to record this video uh, I've uploaded uh, a video on doing the same thing today and I was think I was naively thinking that was that was working nicely so I'm sorry for re-upload uh, so probably it's gonna have exactly the same title uh, in the video 
But the problem was that uh, the way I was doing this before was smashing the stack and I could only step once and then the stack was smashed and didn't, didn't actually work. But here, uh, unfortunately, I don't know how to debug this properly. So here is uh, here I have uh, the test program. So we don't have reset the CPU yet, so it doesn't trigger the non-maskable interrupts yet. Uh, it doesn't have the ROM, it doesn't have FFFA to FFFD uh, to FFFF, basically, uh, uh, interrupt request table uh, values. Uh, it doesn't have this for now. Uh, I, I would be adding this uh, later on. So for now, um, I'm just doing everything by hand. So I'm sending the program counter equal to zero to start executing from, from RAM zero and then the a x and y registers or or equal uh, all all the registers are equal to zero and then here here are the opcodes so uh, the ram uh indexed by zero i'm upload um uh, i'm assigning the value of a9 which stands lda uh and the immediate data mode uh, and the immediate addressing mode immediate data here so here we want to load the value of eight to the register A, then the value of 4 to the register X, the value of 7 to the register Y, and then again the value of 3 to the register uh, A, right? And mm, so once we've, once we've entered the program into the RAM, then I'm just residing uh, the program counter and the variables, and then I stab the CPU once, and print what we have in the A register, step CPU one more time and print what we have in the X register, then step again and print what we have in Y register, step again and print what we have in A register again after after the update. So here, uh, I've just, uh, I will, uh, it's like, so it's, uh, if I verify the code, I don't need to upload because it's already there. So uh, uh, I've been torturing my tiny little Ar Arduino Nano for, uh, <laughs> numerous numerous times so yeah it's it's probably already hot i believe but so it doesn't give any warnings and compiles nicely and also we have some we have the free free memory because of using the prog mem which is exactly the case what we need to do and finally the demonstration so here i have the tty and if i now press the reset button on arduino so yeah i just press it Okay, and here we go. So it says that it steps into the call step 6502. So it, it runs, the, the, this print gets printed within the, the, within the function call. So here it is. Make sure that we are within the function. Because if the smack gets, if the stack gets smashed, there's not going to be printed, just print some gibberish. So just make sure that we do enter the function properly and the stack is not smashed, right? Then uh, it says, uh, let's actually compare these guys here. So, um, if I just print this right over in here, so what we have, uh, so A register equals to 8, which it should be, then the X register is equal to 4, which it should be, uh, Y register is equal to 7, which it should be, which is the case, and finally A register is equal to 3, so yeah, uh, it kind of works now. And uh, just, just to give an idea how this is different from something already exists there. So for instance, if you have a look at the implementation of a well-known Kimon emulator by Oscar Vermeulen, you'll see that Oscar has uh, uh, considered a different way. So he has been using this giant switch case statement instead of lookup table, probably because he, he couldn't manage uh, the syntax uh, just right, right, straight ahead because it's not really trivial, and yeah, it's really easier to just add this. <laughs> uh, I would have done the same, but actually, I, I really wanted to to make uh, the code look as original as possible, and also another uh, another issue because um, this address table is being referenced within the get value functions uh, here, uh, here, and uh, and here. And here he, he need to out, out, alter the code even more. One, well, in my case, uh, I don't actually need to do that. So if I just have a look at the get value, the get get value, then here uh, I'm I'm still referencing the address table by the upcode, so it didn't really change anything. And uh, in the C version, uh, in the C version, let me just show you. So if I just see the get values in the C version. Uh, in order to make it work properly, I needed to adjust the type uh, for uh, for a current function we're looking for. But here, it doesn't give warning and literally works kind of the same. So actually, no, no matter what the type is, the values is still what we're looking for. So hopefully this is going to be working properly. I didn't yet test this part, 
uh, in particular. So yeah, uh, I really need to, to make sure that this get value actually works pro properly, which, which I really hope it is. But other than that, uh, uh, this address table is not actually used anywhere else. Yeah, so here is just in the step. Uh, so yeah, get value and put and put value, and that that's pretty much all about it. And uh, yeah, even the opcodes, uh, the op table is doesn't doesn't seem to be used anywhere else at all. So if you have a look at the opcode table, then yeah, only with the step and the definition itself, and that's it. So yeah. So hopefully this attempt attempt number two take number two actually works better as opposed to the first one and. Uh, as long as soon as I make some more progress on this project, I'll make another video. So this is it from my side. Thanks for watching. Until the next time, and take care.